Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So before I get into today's video, I just wanted to say thank you to Anna Louisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. Their jewelry is literally such amazing quality. If you watched my last video, I did show you these ones that I'm wearing now and pretty much I've not taken them out at all. Like I sleep in them, shower in them, wear them 24-7. Having my Anna Louisa Jewelry pieces has been great because they're such great staple pieces and such amazing quality. So I know I'm going to get so, so much wear out of them. So I'll make sure that I link the pieces that I'm wearing in today's video video below I'll give you guys a little close-up of the necklace as well oh nearly showed you my boob um that is the, the necklace oh my I've got my patchy tan at the moment which I need to fix I'm really excited to be partnering with Anna Louisa Jewelry again I think they're such an amazing company with such amazing values that I think align so strongly with um the things that I'm trying to work on in my own life like sustainability and being really conscious with the things that I purchase so they are an amazing um companies to support not only is their quality so amazing but they literally have prices for a whole variety of budgets so definitely make sure you check them out I will leave my link in the description make sure you use my link and best of all they're currently running a whole bunch of Black Friday sales and deals so make sure you definitely check them out I just think they're really good value for money and for the pieces that you're getting definitely worth it definitely check it out and make sure you use my link below and thank you again so much Annalisa Joy for sponsoring this video guys I'm just so excited to be partnering with them as a company I think they're amazing I think their values are amazing I think their pieces are amazing and yeah I just could not recommend them enough so getting back into the video basically this is very similar to my last one and it's very different to the videos I usually do on my channel um, it's just another kind of like vlog compilation and I really enjoyed editing my last one so much and just kind of putting all the like kind of memories together I just thought it was really I don't know I found it fun to edit fun to kind of look back on so I thought maybe it would be fun for you guys to watch um it's just what I've been getting up to lately some fun things I did with my friends that I thought would be great to share so yeah it's weird I haven't filmed an actual sit down video in a while um so definitely if you have any suggestions for things you'd like me to talk about definitely leave that in the, in the description in the comments um, and I will try and do that because I really want to start being more consistent on this channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, it's just a little compilation of what I've been up to. Some fun little snippets. You'll see a little bit of what I got up to for my birthday, my 23rd birthday. I'm getting old. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really fun yeah, just to document these little snippets of what I've been doing and I hope you guys enjoy watching it just for something a little bit different and then maybe we'll get back into more like serious um videos soon who knows I feel like a lot of the time my best YouTube videos have been just decided on the day so unfortunately that's the um that's what we're going with at the moment um until I have like a really good comprehensive list in advance and like filming schedule th this is what we're doing so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure that you keep watching if you want to see the vlog <laughs> Today we are on our way to the East Coast. So we're first off we're going to East Devil's Corner Winery. Yeah, we haven't really decided what we're doing today, but we're all like dressed up a little bit for the winery. Um, and we're looking their best. Toby and his Gucci, even her outfit, me and my outfit. Even her Yes it is. Boring. <laughs> um, so yeah, what else was I going to say? I feel like I was going to say something else guys. Am I forgetting something? okay guess not um yeah and i'm wearing my anna louisa necklace um once again i'm gonna put it in the description because i keep forgetting the names but yeah i love it I slept in overnight i'm like trying to keep it on all the time it's just like you know dries up my outfits because i never wear jewelry because i hate costume jewelry because it reacts to my skin and my skin hasn't reacted from this necklace so yeah that's a very good sign we are currently at devil's corner winery neve what do you thought so far on the drink <laughs> loving it it's quite good. It's a bit tangy, but it's nice. Tangy. And this one is. Spicy. You're onto the first one, first which is one. the sparkling QV, vibrant fresh apple, citrus notes, long persistent fruit yeah, intensity. Get those notes in there. You did or you didn't? I did get those citrus notes. So yeah. This one, the Chardonnay. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's not the best day, but we're trying to make the best of it. Oh, and look what just arrived. <laughs> I'm vlogging again. Toby's like, oh, when will I know peace? <laughs> what type of pizza is it? Oh, please. Here we go. Um, Have you tried any so far, Toby? Yeah, that one. It was the young. sparkling one. Mm, first Yay. One's good. I'll throw this one back. That's good. <laughs> throw it back. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's such a mood. Spot. We just got to the first accommodation. I'll do a little quick room tour. So this is, it's really random, but, well, nice, but it's like separate spaces. So this is like one part of the house, which is separated out. The other half of the house is down there. This is like the kitchen and lounge and stuff. I actually think it's really cute. 
you enter the second rooms through this door over here. Oh, and this is the lounge. Oh, wow, it's very pretty in here. Toby's like, get away. What a view. It's so cool. What's in that door? Can you open it for me? Uh, it's locked. It must oh, be okay. their personal belongings. So, yeah, this is the lounge, and this is the second bedroom. Look this dude looks smaller. Oh, you can like see my undies almost. Very cute in here though. And the view. Oh, I love this sitting thing. And this is the outdoor view. Wow. Okay, it's, I feel like it just like covers a little bit of what you could see before, but it's still quite pretty. Ah, feels good to be out in nature. I can't wait to get a glass of wine, come sit outside my jacket. Yes. Very cute. So this is officially the start. And this is kind of what the altitude is looking like. Toby, do you want to start going? So you can see how you have to climb up. There's a lot of cracks, luckily. Yep, so that's kind of how we'll be getting up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not as hard as I thought. This is the view. Okay. Oh, did you fall? You so we made it to the top of Mount Amos. It was so much fun. Say hey, guys. Um, they're just deciding when we're going to have lunch because we're already so hungry. But I need to show you the view. It's so pretty. And the climb was so much fun. It was a lot of like adrenaline because I've never done a hike where it's like so much actual climbing was literally um, on my hands and knees for like okay half as dramatic but for a long time so it was really really fun like I've never yeah I've never done anything like it and it was so much fun that's the view how pretty is the view and also I really wanted to mention this was actually Toby's idea to mention so shout out to him for remembering that but we just really wanted to pay our respects to the original custodians of this land Tasmanian <laughs> Aboriginal people who yeah, we are just very blessed to share their beautiful land. Um, yeah, just thought it would be worth mentioning because that is not lost on me how lucky we are to just even be able to occupy this space. I think it's something that we often tend to take for granted in Australia, but yeah, it's very, very important and we're very lucky. Look at this view. Wow, this is such a nice view. Nice and close to the water. This is location number two. Okay, yeah, she is a bit snug, but I mean, there's only three of us. So we just went and ordered some fish and chips. Actually, no, chips and pizza, very random combo. But yeah, so now we're waiting for it. I've got my little buzzer, which I don't know if it's gonna go off because we actually went for a walk a while we're waiting for our food, which is like, the place is like somewhere there. So we walked around and that's what we did. And then we're gonna take the food home and sit on the balcony. I'm really excited because it's such a nice night. Am I right, guys? Is it not just such a nice evening? Yes, it is. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, don't. Hey guys, I literally feel like one of those like actual YouTubers now, something with the way I look like the whole hotel get up. Um, but yeah, it is the afternoon and I thought I would just show my skincare routine because I'm about to wash my face and stuff and just do my whole skincare routine from scratch before I do my makeup for dinner. It's like so early, but I just love getting ready. It's like so fun and especially doing it with my friends. So we're gonna get ready pretty early because dinner's only at eight and then maybe like have some drinks. What I hope I brought all my products. Oh, I didn't pack half my usual um, toiletries. I packed in a bit of a rush this morning. Um, so this will just work with what I've got and I'll talk you through what I usually do. This facial cleanser that I'm using is just a Sukin cream cleanser. The reason I'm using this is I usually use this, um, what's the brand, um, Tribe Skincare cleanser and it's so good except, um, it's oil based and because of my lash extensions I can't have oil, um, based cleanser because it, the fans like just close with the oil so... Um, I can't use that. I haven't really figured out what's another good one I can use. So I've just been using the super one in the meantime. So I'm just going to use that. So I'm just going to use this cream cleanser in the meantime. My face is really early because I put sunscreen on. Um, I'll kind of talk a little bit about that, but I got laser. Like there was, I realize now how stupid and dramatic I was, but I got laser hair removal for my, above my lip. And 
she couldn't even like find the hair that was like was, like like really barely any hair but i was for some reason because i came off the pill and had all this stuff going on with my PCOS and stuff i was trying to get off birth control and i was really self-conscious that because of my like is it androgen, androgen levels? Est estrogen levels? I think it was my estrogen levels. Like that was one of my kind of like root causes. So I was really self-conscious. Anyway, got laser there and that is why. Um, I have to wear it really, really diligent with sunscreen because um, it can create hyperpigmentation where I get the laser. The next step, usually there's a st few steps missing because I forgot all my stuff, but then I use this um, Silk, because Silk Laser Clinic store I go to, it's this Clarifying Brightening Serum. I'm gonna have to use this as well because of, yeah, avoiding hyperpigmentation. It's got nine cenamide, aloe, white G, and liquor, I don't know, random stuff in it. Anyway, um, and I use this as, it's really good. It actually has helped with the um, hyperpigmentation I have on my forehead as well. Like it apparently helps get rid of it. Um, so that's been really good. And then what I usually use straight after this is just um, plain nine centimide serum in the ordinary. Um, that's like a staple, but I've got it. So that's fine. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. And then I usually let this dry for like a couple seconds. I really like the serum to properly soak in. So I'm gonna use that. And then um, also I've got my moisturizer. I used the ordinary one as well. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use my moisturizer. I'm gonna do healthy face masks. This is actually um, a $2 one from Mecca that I'm gonna use. It's so good. Um, and I used it with the birthday voucher my friends got me, which was really cute. And I also got a new foundation. So I'm gonna show that when I do my makeup, if I video it. This is also the sunscreen that I use. I use it every single day. When I remember it is the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Screen Queen Lightweight Sunscreen. It really is lightweight, I really love it. So yeah, I might just put this on for a while actually instead. Okay, so I just thought I would show you guys my makeup really quickly. I was gonna video doing it, but I was just trying to be in the moment with my friends. I'm getting ready together, it's so fun. Grace is here now too. Hi. Hello. Oh, cute, you look so pretty. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I was just doing my makeup before and I used, and it's from my friend Amy's James Charles palette and it's actually so pigmented, I'm shook. So it's that, the third one from the end and the second row. I can't really point at it. But yeah, it's literally just this one color and I'm actually shook at how pigmented it came out. So yeah, it feels weird having a color though, but it's like growing on me. Hello. Hi. In the bathroom. Like, yeah, it like, looks like kind of like a ring light and it's so good like lighting, except I'm like, oh, this has set the expectations too high because my face looks better contoured in this mirror. I just remembered I was gonna show you my foundation. This is the foundation that I bought today. My friends um got me a Mecca voucher. It was so nice because I literally been wanting to buy makeup for the longest time. And I got this foundation, which I've been wanting for a while because I got a sample a while ago. And yeah, I just never bought it because I was in lockdown and didn't go anywhere. Um, oh yes, I actually wore this um, the sample to my cousin's wedding in South Africa in January and I thought it was so good that it lasted so well and it's very matte like I have no powder on at all so it's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation Perfect Matte I really love it it's oil free 14 hour wear which literally is so true like I was saying when I wore it at my cousin's wedding like my face just barely moved which is so good and then I also want to show you guys the highlighter that I'm wearing because it's so good it's Toby's I'm obsessed with it I'm literally like using all my friends stuff but anyway um, it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush and then highlight and I guess the champagne spill is the highlight it's this one it's just like it's like my skin color but like not I don't know how to explain it but yeah love it and then I've literally just got lip injection too faced on my lips but I might put a color on because it looks a bit plain but yeah that's the main products nothing else really exciting there literally just one color obviously bronzer and the huge how's your makeup going Amy really done oh I love the color you're so lovely <laughs> You're so lucky because your lid colors like shows, whereas I open my eyes and like my lid disappears. So your blue, like it shines through so nicely. But yeah, so just sitting on the floor. Um, wow, look at that setup. It looks so professional. We're sitting in front of the window because of that natural lighting. So yeah, that's the update. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the whole vlog video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also just want to apologize that a lot of the footage is just, yeah, not my best work. It's very hard trying to film, but also being like engaged when you're with people. So I feel like I got a lot of snippets and then meant to keep filming and then just stopped filming and or didn't want to like ruin the moment by filming. It's just, it's very difficult to strike that balance when you're trying to like record things for YouTube. So this was my attempt. Hopefully I'll start getting better at vlogging things that I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I will, but... 
that's kind of that's kind of the goal to get a little bit better at content I'm trying to get better at editing better at actually getting good footage all that stuff like that so that you guys actually find what I'm posting interesting because if you're not then I don't know what I'm doing here to be honest I just want to say thank you once again to Anna Louisa Joy for sponsoring this video don't forget that my pieces will be linked down below but make sure you shop with my link that I will leave at the top of the description bar and check out all of their Black Friday sales and yes once again a huge thank you to Anna Louisa Joy for sponsoring this video I really appreciate it I'm really happy to be working with them so make sure you use my link in the top of the description check out their black friday deals because you do not want to miss them and once again please if you have any suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comments down below um i literally will definitely read them because i don't get that many comments but uh, i was about to say like i see all of them and that's when i knew i've been watching too many youtube videos because i'm like just taking words from other people's um what do you call it other people's videos um if you if you do leave a comment i'll literally reply to it because it'll be like just you and me down there let's be honest if you made it to the end of this video i just want to say thank you so much thank you so much for watching and and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.